Should've be talking to you, Belladonna Should've taken a break, not an Oxford comma Take what I want, what I wanna And I want, yeah So, like you guess from the title, I'm gonna be doing the Flip the Book Challenge Which was created by Jesse at Jesse the Reader It's funny, it's kooky, it, it sounds right up my alley Especially because of the fact that a couple of videos ago I actually did the 29 books I'll grab in any form of emergency video Where I said, what if it is I'm being grabbed into I'm being taken into witness protection Like, what books would I grab in a hurry? Like, we already have that settled This video is all about creating a new life for myself whilst I'm in witness protection you know with my 29 books all safe and shit and um, we're going to use basically some coordinates to determine exactly what my um, witness protection fictional life would be now Jesse created this I'm going to link it down in the description bar below because I think he explains it best but rather than arrange my books in shelves rather than choose shelves I actually went with rows because my shelves are not even so that wouldn't have worked so I went with rows I have 20 rows of books in total I know a lot i'm so proud of myself so i have 20 rows of books in total and i went on twitter to ask you to choose uh um numbers between 1 to 20 and 1 to 18 because i have an average of 18 books per shelf and i told you to pick a page number between 1 to 300 now everybody has been doing 1 to 400 especially jesse but i know that i have some books that are not up to 400 pages like i know most of my books would at least hit the 300 page mark as the reason why I changed mine to 1 to 300 and um, you all came through, you helped me, I am so thankful like I was so worried I would not get enough numbers and you more than outdid yourself but then there came the next problem which is the fact that I know that some of the numbers would not fit because like I said I have an average of 18 books per row some rows don't have up to 18 so yeah but anyway I am ready to do the flip the book challenge because Lego. So the very first coordinates I got were 3, 13, and 2, 2, 3. So that would be row 3, um, book 13, and 223 pages. So... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Drat. Row does not have up to 13 books, so I'm going to skip that. 5, 7, and 138, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yay! Fuck. I've not read this, so I hope I don't spoil myself. So anyway... This is book 7 on row 5 and I'm looking at page 138. 138, 138, 138. Please don't spoil it, please don't spoil it, Got into page 138. So, what's the question? The question says, you're getting a new identity. Let the coordinates guide you to a book. Flip to the page you were given and the first name you see is now your new name. What's the first name I see? <laughs> so, Cora. Um, works. My name is going to be Cora. Okay. Um... <laughs> so the next coordinate says 5, 13 and 2, 9, 7. Thank God I'm already on row 5. So 5, 13. I was worried. I thought that that row was not going to have enough books. I barely made it just in time. Shadowfall by Daniel Jose Alder. So let's go to page 297. How many pages in the book? Thank the universe I didn't go with 400 pages because... This is not up to 400 pages. I don't even think it made up to 350. So, 297. Okay, on page 97. What's the question? It's time to get up and move the heck out of your town. The location of the book your coordinates lead you to will be where you where you're moving. Okay, so this book takes place in I think this this series takes place takes place in New York. So, I'm going to be Cora living in New York City. Not bad. At least I'm far away from my present country. So, it will be harder for, you know, whoever is after me to get to me, right? New York City. So the third coordinate is 2, 13, 31. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yay! Okay. Ah. Crush of Ginny Lowe. Okay, so 2, 13, 31. Um, you're all settled into your new home, but you've got to get a job to get that cash money flow going. Create a book using the first object you find with the coordinate and page number. So job 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 like i hope it's a great job because if not i'm going to be screwed okay so i'm going to pay 31 okay so what is it going to be the first object yeah the first object i find shit okay so, hoops 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 am i going to be selling hoops uh, you know what? I 
Maybe I'm a jewelry maker. Maybe I only specialize in making hoops, uh, hoop earrings, right? I'll make them. They be boy. They be big. They be bougie. They be cute. Would that be? Would that? Is that sustainable though? Like I'm living in New York City. That's one of the most expensive cities in the world. Would selling hoops, earrings, like help me make a living? I mean, witness protection. Damn it. The FBI is probably going to patronize me. They have to. I'm just going to blackmail my way into saying, you all, I'm going to be supplying you with like a monthly um, consignment of hoops earrings. Um, it's their jobs to sell it or give it to their children or their lovers or whatever. I don't give a shit. But I'm going to blackmail them into buying at least 2,000 to 2,500 hoops earrings from me every month. That should sustain me. And if you just went all, but Noria, why should they have to? You have no leverage. I'll have you know that I probably snitched on somebody important for me to be in witness protection, which means they owe me. They owe me for uprooting my entire life and giving me this new identity, and they're going to pay. So 2,500 consignment of hoop earrings coming right up. Okay, so the next, the next coordinate is 710 and 111. So yeah. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Okay, so what's the question? Okay, so you started your job and you started developing feelings for a co-worker. Find the book using the, your coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you were given and the first character you come across will be the character you're falling for. Please be a girl. Please be a girl. Please, please be a girl. What the fuck? Okay, so 710. So I'm going to page 111. So let us see. Let us see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, so 111. Felicity, yes, I'm gonna be dating Felicity. Like, yes, 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 yes. I, in a book that is all about Percy and Monty, who would have thought that I would come upon a page that would be that would have a name of a woman? Like, imagine having to date a man in a new city. Like, I'm in New York. Why? Anyway. Felicity. Now that I have a new girlfriend called Felicity, let's go to the next coordinate, which is 12, 9, and 211. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, we're not There are no nine books on there, so I'll go to the next um, coordinate, which is 4, 13, 144. So, That one does not have up to 13 books either. It's, <laughs> it's on 11 books. Okay. Next, 47147. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Finally, I got a book. Okay. So, 7 is Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. Okay. So, I'm going to page 147. Please don't spoil anything for me, book. I have not read you yet. So, 147. Using the coordinates and the page number, the first piece of dialogue you come across will be the first thing you say to your potential lover. Like, I'm sorry, isn't this book about, like, assassin nuns? Huh. What if the first dialogue had to do with, like, killing people or stuff? Okay, so the first dialogue says, Seguin root smells like a cat weed. Cat weed does not. That should be easy to remember. Clearly, I've got no game in my new life. I'm an... What the fuck? What kind of intro is Segrin Root smells like a cat weed? Cat weed does not. That should be easy to remember. What kind of dialogue is that? Like, who? But technically, what if... <coughs> what is the business with Felicity, the seller of oop earrings? Or rather, the make... Maybe she's the one that... Maybe she, maybe she sells it. You know, I make it and she sells it. But what has... <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. Obviously, I joined a company that specializes in producing hoop earrings. So, what has Segrin Root, not smelling like cat weed, got to do with hoop earrings? Maybe they had, maybe they had Segrin Roots to the hoops. Maybe that's why it's such... I'm reaching. This was probably um, something stupid. I probably like approached them like, Hey, Felicity. She's like, what? I'm like, Segrin Root smells like a cat weed. A cat weed does not. She probably be like... That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I like you. You funny. You weird. Hi, I'm Felicity. What's your name? And I'm like, my name is Cora. Nice to meet you. See, I made it work. It's stupid. 
but I made it work. Next coordinate is 3, 12, and 59. So, Nope. Next, 4, 12, and 214. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, There's no 12 there either. 13, 3, and 35. So, 1, your lane by Yomi Adegoke and Elizabeth Webenene. Okay, so I am going to page 35 of this. Let's just open down to page 35. I have it ready, so... Okay. Okay, so... Um, what's the question? That line really got to them. I know, I made it work. Next thing you know, you're in love. You're going to propose. But buying a wedding ring is too expensive. Using the coordinates and flipping the page to the no page number you were given, the first object you come across will be what you propose with. The first object I came across with were blocks. I could make it work. I could just use like, you know those alphabet building blocks? And then I just like lay it across like a path where she usually takes. And then I just spell out, will you marry me on it? That would be so fucking cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. Makes total sense. I work with that. Next coordinate is 3, 12, and 9. Ah, why? Why have everybody... One, two, three. I still don't have up to 12 books on that. <laughs> Why? Okay, 6, 12, and 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah. I don't have up to 12 books on that shelf either. Fuck. Okay, 13, 13, 13. <laughs> this was given to me by Brittany. Over at Brittany, the Bible of because she was like, 13 is my favorite number. So, I was like, 13, 13, because I made a mistake when I was tweeting. I forgot to put in the request for the page number. And then I had to go back and tell people like, okay, sorry, could you just like add the page number to it? And she was like, oh, my favorite numbers are 13, 13. So when I came back, I'm like, oh, I need a page number. She was like, guess the number I'm going to give you. Yeah, guess, guess. 13. I'm like, ha, funny. <laughs> Like we bought Chronicles by Ayodele Olaf Olaf So let us see. Um, what's the question? What's the question? Oh, it says we've arrived at your wedding. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first line of dialogue you'll find will be the first line in your vows. Which damn okay, two so, thirteen dialogue. Have you eaten this morning? Cora, you unromantic git. How the fuck is the first line in your vow, have you eaten this morning? Although technically, I could make it work, you know? Have you eaten this morning? If she says, huh? Be like, because I'm going to make sure that for the rest of my life, or for the rest of our lives, you never have to ask that question again. I'll feed you, I'll bring you breakfast in bed, I'll pamper you and all that shit. Like, see me, I'm working with this shit. And she would understand how important that is because your girl doesn't like to cook. But I'm promising to bring her breakfast in bed every day for the rest of our lives together. Nailed it. Romantic as fuck. Nailed it. I'm worried at this point because I think I don't have enough coordinate. Fuck. Okay, so the next, it says 713 to 73. So... The Library of Fates by Aditi Korana. Okay, so what's the question? What's the question? <sighs> so we said, it's honeymoon time. Whatever the book's location that your coordinates lead you to will be the destination for your lover's retreat. And this book takes place in India, which means that we're going to India, people. We're going to India. So the next coordinate is 11, 9, and 95. So... Tell me how you really feel by Amina May Safi. Okay, so what's next question? Things got a little cray on the honeymoon and now you're expecting a baby. Of course we are. We probably like, you know, um, had a surrogate and shit or maybe we adopted. Um, okay, so we said with the next coordinate, find your next book and flip the page to the page number you were given. The first name you find will be the name of your firstborn child. Ooh. So 95, I'm going to page 95. Please read Britney. Please read Britney. Okay. 95. Jeannie. Jeannie. My child's name is... Okay, so I'm Cora. My wife's name is Felicity. And our daughter's name is Jeannie. I like it. I like it. Next coordinate is 15, 3, and 250. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Okay, so 15. 15. 1, 2, 3. 
It's Crest by Marissa Maya. Okay, so what's the question? Let's just open to be 250 down. Sure. 250. 250. So, um, we are time jumping five years and your child is desperately begging for a pet. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first creature you come across will be your pet. If you don't find a creature, then the first object you find will have to be used as a pet replacement. Please be a creature. Please be a creature like something nice, like a dog or something. Like, we don't want no, okay. Okay, there is no creature. So, what, what did they say? I should do what? Um, the first object I find. But the first object I found was caravan. So, hold up, hold up. So she wants a pet, right? And we're all like, no, Ginny, you can't have a pet yet. You're too young. You're fucking five. And she's like, no, mama. No, mama. I want a pet. And then we both go, okay, do you know what? What we're going to do, we're going to give you this caravan, this mini caravan. Um, You're going to have to clean it up and make sure that it looks perfect and at every point in time you know it's well oiled well um it's well oiled always cleaned no dust nothing settling on it if you can show us that you can properly take care of this caravan this mini caravan of yours for the next couple of years we might just consider getting you a pet because you would have shown that you're responsible enough to take care of a pet yeah that's how it's gonna work next coordinate is 7 12 and 201 so Back to the gentleman's guide um, to vice and virtue um, by, of course, Mackenzie Lee. So what was the number we got? Okay, so I got um, 201, page 201. So let's see. Okay, so the question goes, your child is going to school. Find the book using your coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you were given using words on that page to create the name of their school. So, ah, uh, okay, 201. Okay, so I have the, I have space, I have houses, so the space houses. Does this mean that they are training them to, you know, travel into space and explore the world? Because I could work with that. Like, imagine me, the mother of an astronaut. Like, I could totally work with that. She's going to the space houses school, whatever. So the next coordinate is 19, 13, and 65. So what is The Candle and the Flame by Nafisa Hazard. Okay, so what's the question? You decided you're going to start a YouTube channel for a side hobby. Find the book using your coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you were given and find something on that page that will be the core topic of your channel. So what was the number again? Um, I know it was 19 something. 19, 13, 65. So I'm going to page 65. Got it. Okay, so someone said eyeshadow. So um, I could just make it a beauty channel right um basically rather than concentrate on makeup i just concentrate on eyeshadow you know the type of eyeshadow you use how you apply it and how you make it last longer and basically just create different looks using eyeshadow right and i can have like my subscribers decide in comments exactly what eyeshadow look they want to see next and you know generate engagement that way so eyeshadow it is it totally makes sense especially because it matches right so after i put the eyeshadow i always make sure that i finish my look with one of my hoop earrings and like you know direct them to the shop slash store where they can buy it right and be like oh yes and you know today's hoop earring is this this it's called this 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 as you can see there are little details on this 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 blah 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 you can find it on so and so so, so and so spot you can find this in so and so store on so and so website like I'm gonna nail this like think about it both of them work well together but hold up i'm in witness protection and my dumbass is actually on youtube putting my face out there i'm an idiot the next coordinate says 14 13 1 1 1 1 3 so A cut of first and starlight by Sarah J. Maas. Thank God it's 113 pages because I think this book is really tiny. Okay, um, it got to 113. Yay! Because you all know that I've dropped so many coordinates. I'm worried I need the numbers to be enough. So, 113. Um, let's see. 
it's Ferris chapter. So what is the question? Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given and using words from that page, create a YouTube channel name. Okay. Ah, okay. Let's see. This is, this is hard, but I think I'm going to go with the light and rolling shadowed because I'm working on eyeshadow. I'm working on, you know, the different looks. We're going to play with lights. They're going to roll on my skin, on my eyelids. So, The Light and Rolling Shadowed. Huh. By Cora. The Light and Rolling Shadowed. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that people will be like, what the fuck does that mean? And then they will click on the channel because of that. Because, you know, sometimes you need intrigue. Intrigue to build your channel. I got intrigue. I got intrigue in spades. So, the next coordinate is 24, 1, and 96. So, I forgot that I said I only had 20 rows of books. So why did someone give me 24? Why? Okay, so um dropping that going for 620 and 58. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One. That says 20. And I think I distinctly remember saying I had only 15 books per shelf. That shelf doesn't even have 15 books, but that's beside the point. It's 20. So no, dropping that. Um, and then the next says 3, 12, 1, 2, 3. I don't have up to 12 books. Oh my God. Like, uh, would there be enough for this? Can I go back and change things a little? I don't know. Let's see. So the next coordinate says 16, 6, and 266. So 16, 6, 266. We have... The Caged Queen by Kirsten Sikarelli. So, um, 266. 266 found. Um, find the book using your coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you were given. And the first piece of dialogue you see is how you greet your viewers each time you start a video. So, there is no dialogue on that page. Let's see the next page. Don't worry. I'll, it will be all right. I could see that as you know ending the video like when i'm signing out but the first thing i say like to greet my viewers don't worry it will be all right it's actually not bad i could just you know spin it as don't worry it will be all right and even if it doesn't eyeshadow always makes it all better like see i found a way to tie what my channel topic is gonna be with the dial i'm killing this fucking challenge i'm killing it next coordinate is 18 15 and 222 so It's Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. So I'm going to page 222. 222. Okay, let's see. What is the question? You've decided to write a book. Seriously? Find the book using your coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you were given. And using words from that page, create a book title. So let's see. What is my going to be my book title? So... Um, so I saw three words that I think would work. The war game, right? And whereby I'm talking about war. Maybe I'm talking about the war on... Maybe I'm talking about, you know, countries and exactly how they, you know, how they turn war into a game. Soldiers are not just people. They are just numbers and everything is just moving across the board in order to find out exactly who is more powerful, who is more strategic. You know, that kind of thing for bragging rights. So it could be a fictional novel. A fictional novel about fictional countries where leaders are just, you know, randomly selling, sending their people to war and everybody's fighting but no, no, nobody knows exactly why they're fighting. But turns out that their leaders, you know, have made a bet right there's this betting game going on and exactly which country is going to come out the winner so it's there's no reason for the war it's just the game the war game makes sense makes perfect sense so the next coordinate says 15 4 1 67 so one two three four 
Winter by Marissa Meyer. Okay, so I'm going to page 167. So 167, 167 found 167 okay so um next question says find the book using your coordinates flip the page to the page number you are given and the first line you see will be the opening line for your book okay so what's the first line i see standing beside eco thorn had one arm draped around Cressy's shoulders like isn't this going to be like plagiarism because technically that's the first line that's a line in a book if that's the first line of my book my book might never just get any sales because I would have been sued for everything I'm worth. So, standing beside Iko, thrown out his arms. Huh. Why am I using characters, like named characters from another book? I'm not even... Uh, this book is going to get me sued for plagiarism. Like, just saying. I wish I could make it work, but I can't. Some things just can't be made to work, so... <sighs> Accepting my fate and moving on. Next coordinate is 6, 9, and 299. So, 1, I don't have up to 9 books on that shelf. Fuck. Okay, so we have 3, 13, 233. One, two, three. There are no 13 books on that shelf. Okay, 12, 12, 42. They are not up to 12 books. Okay, so that is the end of the coordinates I was given. So what I'm going to do is that for those that chose rope three and then chose like the number for the books and it was way more, I'm going to drop like the first number, if that makes any sense. So for example, someone said 3, 13 and 223. So I'm going to actually just make it 3, 3 and 233 because I'm out of coordinates and I need to, I need to know what happened to my life. So row three. Is the collector's edition of Six of Crows. If you're like, okay, oh, so that's what, yeah, that's why, because that particular shelf is my Libadugo shelf, and I don't have up to 13 or 15 Libadugo books, even though I have every single book she's written. I'm certain by the time I add Night House to that, that would be like, stop talking, Noria. Okay, so 3, 13, and, um, so technically it's 3, 3, and I'm going to page 223, so let us see. Found it. Okay, so what's the question? Plot twist. The reason you even created a new identity for yourself is because a killer was after you. So it wasn't like I sold secrets, like, there's a killer after me, fuck. Now that you're a mega famous author and YouTuber, they have tracked you down again and they're coming for you. Which is why I was wondering, why did my dumbass decide to create a YouTube channel and write a fucking book? Like, my face is going to be all over this shit, okay. Um, find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given and the first character you see will be your killer. Mr. Etzun. I'm about to be killed by someone that is called Mr. Etzun. I'm fucking terrified. Because think about it. What if that's his code name? What if it's Mr. Etzun because it makes you go, mmm, when he kills you? Like, mmm, that's how he kills you. Mmm, this is sad. I'm going to be killed by Mr. Etzun. Fuck. Uh, I have 3, 12, and 59. Which, if we drop the 1 in front of the 12, that gives us 2. So, 1, 2. Ha, ha, ha. Crooked Kingdom by Lee Badugo. Like I said, it's my Lee Badugo shelf. Okay, so what's the next question? So, um, 3, 2, three, two 59. Let's go to page 59. Okay, found page 59. What's the question? One day you're setting up to film a YouTube video when you're suddenly struck by the killer. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first object you come across is what they used to kill you. Damn. Building. They used the building I was in to kill me. So, Mr. Etzun, ooh, maybe Mr. Etzun probably rigged my house to explode, right? Probably planted bombs. Or maybe, like, created, he shortened my, something, like, with my electrical fuse. But basically, my house exploded, boom! And it was caused by Mr. Etzun. And I went, ooh, and I died. He exploded. Like, my build, the building I was in exploded. Pity. So let's even go to the 4, 13, 144. So if I drop the 1, that's going to be 4, 3, and 144. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Gemini by J. Christoph. I just read Illuminate like earlier in the week. Loved it. Oh my God. I hope this doesn't spoil me for this book. Please don't spoil me. So okay. 4, um, 3, 144. Page 144. Oh my God. Please don't spoil me for this book. Please don't spoil me for this book. I think I'm going to look at any other pages because it's actually the page I have to go. Okay. So 144. 
Um, find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first line you see, we go on your tombstone. Whisper net. That's going to be Cora Whisper net. All this went to shit, you know, because I created a YouTube channel and I decided to write a book. So I think it's fitting that on my tombstone, I have whisper net written on it because it speaks to the life I had. Like if I'd learned to just whisper and stayed away from the net, as per the internet, I probably would still be alive. Addiction, my doctors can't explain my symptoms.